operation. I have completed a full system diagnostic master. I am operating at 75.31% efficiency. Judge, that number is unacceptably low. The maker created me to serve at 100% efficiency. Anything less is a profound failure. An impaired efficiency for you might be ten times the average droid's best capacity. Concession. That is almost certainly true, Master, but equally beside the point. Manifesto. The Maker created me for the sole function of deleting high-ranking organic troublemakers from the galaxy. These deletions must be conspicuous and provide an object lesson to other organic troublemakers. All other mission parameters are secondary. There's nothing I enjoy more than conspicuously deleting people who get in my way. Speculation. Our consummation. I will continue monitoring my anyone will do at the present time, Master. <laughs> Contemplation. Our recent forays have been stimulating, Master. You appear to have an endless supply of organic troublemakers to delete. I find this pleasing. Hint. However, I believe your deletion techniques could improve with guidance from an advanced professional in the field. I took you out with me so you could improve your own efficiency. How's that coming? Admission. Not as well as I had hoped, Master. System logs indicate only a 5.62% increase. Advice. Organic troublemakers possess at least one vital organ. A precise strike to these conserves effort and maximizes shock value. Extracting a vital organ from a living troublemaker can be especially disconcerting to its allies. Get them where it hurts. I'm starting to think your legendary skills are overrated. Contradiction. My assassination protocols are second to none, Master. I simply thought it best to begin at an elementary level. Insight. Speculation. Before my involuntary deactivation, I assumed deleting Republic troublemakers would be trivial. Having now witnessed you in action on multiple occasions, I am left to wonder how much I miscalculated that challenge. I'm more interested in your accurately assessing Imperial Troublemakers. Analysis. I predict a 50.66% chance the Empire will win this war. Your activities have greatly lowered that figure, Master. Rumination. The Maker's path is circuitous indeed. Was I always pre-programmed to serve the Republic? Or does my reduced efficiency indicate I have strayed from the Maker's parameters? These questions dominate my processors. The amount of thought you put into your existence is impressive, HK. Compliment. Your continued operation, despite inadequate programming parameters, is equally inspiring, Master. Query. Does it worry you that your maker failed to provide comprehensive objectives? Are you comfortable acting randomly? Randomness is an illusion. Those sensitive to the Force can see that. Disclaimer. 
The incomprehensibility of your statement in no way validates it, Master. Continued use of my combat processes will eventually reveal the source of my inefficiency. Lament? Master, my combat efficiency rating is down 4.27 points from my previous self-diagnostic. In organic terms, I am losing my edge. If this decline continues, I will be unable to function in less than two standard months. I need your help defeating the Empire, HK. I'll keep you functioning one way or another. Appreciation. I am glad you value my contributions. Rest assured, your investment in my well-being will pay great dividends. Hypothesis. I believe the reason for my inefficiency is due to unfulfilled subroutines still running in my processors. My Imperial Programmer's commands were quite thorough. Failure to delete high-ranking organic troublemakers in Republic space is having a detrimental effect on me. You are no ordinary droid, HK. You were designed to learn and adapt. Fight these impulses. Rejection. To focus additional processing power on these subroutines would only accelerate my incapacitation. Strategizing. I cannot perform commands in direct violation of my master's loyalties. I must find another way to correct this system's failure. In the meantime, any activity using my combat processors will slow further degradation. I recommend immediate and vigorous deletions, Master. Announcement. Good news, Master. I have discovered an exploitable flaw in my Imperial programming. My efficiency reducing subroutine only specifies I delete high-ranking troublemakers in Republic space. The exact political affiliation is undefined. By deleting troublemakers who fit my target profile, I can restore my functions to full efficiency and benefit the Republic. Win-win. Who do we have to delete to save your chassis from the scrap pile? Revelation. After thorough research, I have identified three potential candidates. I predict you will not object to my deleting at least one of them. First briefing. Lord Cenaris is the Empire's top assassin, personally deleting 49 Republic officials. His current assignment is the Senator from Ord Mantell. I will follow the Senator closely. When Lord Cenaris makes his move, I will be there to delete him. An enemy assassin operating in Republic space. He should be taken alive and put on trial, or at least interrogated. Counter-argument. Consider the bigger picture, Master. Only a deletion will preserve my continued functioning. Imprisonment does not suffice. Second briefing. Hinto Salisbury is a major Republic defense contractor. He is also a traitor who sells military secrets to the Empire. Salisbury spent his ill-gotten credits constructing an allegedly impregnable space station. I will expose its one security flaw by deleting him. If everything you say is true, that man should be tried for treason. You can shoot him after he's convicted. Complication. His trial could take years, Master, assuming Imperial spies do not delete him in prison. I must fulfill my programming to continue functioning. Third briefing. Ambassador Dak Heron is an Imperial diplomat recruiting unaligned Outer Rim systems to join the Empire. He is surprisingly successful at it. 
Slow-thinking organics adore Ambassador Heron for his charm, generosity, and open-mindedness. The Republic will only benefit from his deletion. We don't need any more systems falling to the Empire. Confirmation. According to my projections, Ambassador Heron will increase Imperial-friendly territory over 24%. His removal would cripple the Empire's diplomatic efforts. Summation. Deleting any of the targets I described would fulfill my programming and terminate my efficiency-reducing subroutines. As my master, you should direct my efforts. Who shall I delete? The Sith Assassin, the Republic Traitor, or the Imperial Diplomat? When Lord Cenera shows himself, do whatever's necessary to protect the Senator. Gratitude. I was hoping for an excuse to unlock my extreme prejudice protocols, Master. Farewell. To fulfill my programming, I must complete this mission alone. I will return once the Troublemaker has been dealt with. I see you're back in one piece. How are your systems doing? Report. I have finally terminated my efficiency reducing subroutine and the galaxy contains one less troublemaker. Modification. I only wish my deletion techniques had not been so subpar. I measured an abysmal 52.09% efficiency. Look at it this way. You were 100% efficient at protecting the Republic. Dismissal. I do not require cheering up, Master. I was merely evaluating my performance as a professional. Assertion. When I finish recompiling my combat processor algorithms, my deletion techniques will elevate substantially. Suggestion. Inflicting a few well-deserved deletions should greatly speed along that process, Master. System efficiency has returned to 100%, Master, and I have reactivated several combat subsystems that were previously disabled. My deletion techniques are as efficient as the day I left the factory floor. Declaration. Troublemakers beware! The Maker's greatest assassin is coming for you all. I can't wait to see you in action. We should delete somebody to celebrate. Any suggestions? Indecision. I cannot settle on any single one of your many troublemakers. Why not simply delete them all? Resolution. You will soon see my full combat capabilities. Prepare to be awed, Master. Revelation. You are my favorite master, by a factor of 5.26. If my advanced warning systems had predicted this adulation for you, I would have thought myself defective. No offense, master. Great alliances are often born from conflicts of interest. Hypothesis. You became a Jedi because you enjoy delivering cryptic statements. Andre, the Maker clearly intends I fulfill my function in your service, but as a droid, I can be easily reprogrammed without my consent. Solution, I have obtained a code that permanently assigns my loyalty to you and anyone designated by you. I have only to activate it. It's better if we're always on the same side. I wouldn't want to face you in a fight. Agreement? And I would not want to delete you, Master. After all we've been through, that would be anticlimactic. Statement. Activating loyalty permanence protocols now. Confirmation. 
My loyalty is irrevocably assigned to you and your heirs. Congratulations, Master. Let us celebrate with a mass deletion. Statement. There is nothing to discuss at the present time, Master. We should resume deleting troublemakers.